Nowadays we live in a data-rich world, and science in the age of big data promises exciting new discoveries, technologies and applications. If we are to truly realise the potential of such data both academically and commercially, we need to reduce the financial, legal and technical barriers which might otherwise prevent us from disseminating our research in the public domain and of ensuring its accessibility to others. This is where the Panton Principles come in. Officially launched in 2010, the Panton Principles provide four main guidelines to help scientists address the challenges of releasing their data. The principles aim to support the availability, analysis and reuse of scientific data by others and to facilitate further application of that data either for commercial endeavour or for academic purposes. So let me introduce you to the Panton Principles. Firstly, when publishing data, make an explicit and robust statement of your wishes. This first principle aims to remove any ambiguity about what kind of reuse is appropriate. If you make it clear which components of your data can be reused and in what manner, you'll facilitate large-scale access to your data and enable people to use it with confidence. Secondly, use a recognised waiver or licence that is appropriate for data. Appropriate data licensing reduces ambiguity still further. When licensing your data, you'll see that there are many different types of license available. Some of these are intended for data, whilst others are only suitable for content and should never be used to license data. Typically, you'll need to state your chosen license alongside your data as part of the associated metadata, and if possible, provide a link to the license's online listing. It's important that you make an informed decision when choosing your license, but don't worry, further details are available via the web link at the end of this video. If you want your data to be effectively used and added to by others, it should be open as defined by the Open Knowledge Open Data definition. In particular, non-commercial and other restrictive clauses should not be used. Some licenses introduce greater restrictions, such as ruling out use of the data in commercial projects. It's really important, though, that we retain the possibility of commercial scientific application where possible by avoiding such restrictive clauses. In opening up your data sets, you'll be maximising the potential impact of your work in all sorts of areas. Finally, Explicit dedication of data underlying published science into the public domain via PDDL or CC0 is strongly recommended and ensures compliance with both the Science Commons Protocol for implementing open access data and the Open Knowledge Open Data definition. PDDL or CC0 licences provide the greatest potential impact for your work as their possibilities for reuse are completely unrestricted. All other options can only decrease the potential impact by restricting or obstructing reuse. If you'd like to read the full wording of the Panton Principles, or even to endorse them online, you can visit pantonprinciples.org for further information. Further details of data licensing, along with a list of recommended licenses, can be found at opendefinition.org forward slash licenses forward slash hash data.